What's going on everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at episode 7 of the Nano Reef Tank build. Today we are going to be focusing on the auto top off. So the auto top off that I'm going to be using for the water box 20 gallon cube is the Duetto ATO. I have this same exact auto top off on my 75 gallon reef tank. I will leave a link right there to top right hand to your screen. That is the link to when I originally installed it. February of 2019 so it's been running almost a year like two weeks shy of a year and I have had zero issues so I guess really I can give you a one year update on it and I love it have zero problems haven't had to do a single thing with it so let's actually take a look at everything that it comes with this thing oh, this thing is so easy to install you literally don't even need tools if you don't want to you don't have to have any tools whatsoever so you can see the blue optical eye down there. It is a dual sensor eye and the backside has a little magnet. So you don't have to worry about adjusting clips or anything like that. You just set it and forget it. Set your height and you're done. The first optical eye, the lowest one obviously, is the sensor for when your water evaporates and it lowers. That's going to trip. The second one is in case the water goes too high, it will sound alarm, shut off, and let you know, hey, something's going on. Check the sensor. It's a, it's, pre it's pretty much a backup eye, which is really, really good. The tubing holder, I guess we'll call it, it's a dual holder. You can actually mount it sideways. Um, so if you have like a lip, like an acrylic sump, and it comes out like this, you can flip that, and it has a little, you know, a little crank on it there with a little locking nut. Very, very secure. I never had the other one pop off ever, even when I'm like, you know, cleaning the sump and, you know, messing with the hose. This never popped off accidentally and, you know, shot water all over the sump. So, really, really nice. All you need to work the hose, I guess you could say, right? Work the hose is a pair of scissors because I don't know the exact length, but it does come pretty long and you can cut it to length to make it, you know, look a little nice and tidy. If you have extra and you want to coil it up, whatever, that's your choice. It's not going to have any issues leaving it um, a little bit extra long. So now let's take a look down below. Still a work in progress down here. And yes, my auto, my auto top off reservoir is a cheese ball container. This tank, I did have a five gallon bucket under here and it took like two weeks to go through that bucket. And I kind of like to replenish my auto top offs more often just to keep the water, I guess, a little bit fresh. I don't want it to be so stagnant in there. So when I fill this all the way to the top, it lasts about eight days. It's about two and a half gallons all the way to the top, and that's plenty for this tank. So super tiny, itty bitty little pump. Now that pump is, this stand here is 40 inches and then almost another two feet up. So... It is about five feet, pumping up about five feet, and it has no problems doing that. Now, like I said, the brain, it does come with a little clip that you can mount it to. You can use sticky tape and stick it to something, to a surface, or you put two screws in there. That's how I did it, so it's nice and secure. So essentially all you gotta do is plug it into your outlet, plug it into the left side of the brain, the right side of the brain goes down to your pump, you run your auto top off line up and set your sensor and you're done. It's it's flawless. It's the, um, the easiest auto top off I've ever used. It's the quietest. I do have the, um, the little peace of mind that when it beeps, when you know it's empty or if there's an issue. And I really, really recommend it. Like I said, I've been running it for a year on the 75 and have had zero issues. This will be the only auto top off I ever use unless they come out with something better around the same price. I know they do have another one that has four optical sensors, but I don't really have the need for that. Um, this one works just fine, so highly recommend it. The Duetto ATO. And uh, yeah, big shout out to Joseph for getting this out to me. You're the man. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Nano Reef Tank build. So that's it for now. 
little sneak peek of the tank. That's it. I will talk to you guys on the next one. Alright, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.